Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and today I'm going to be showing you how I made the most adorable dino shoe charms. I made them for my son Riley and this adorable T-Rex necklace. So to make these, I'm going to be using some things that we got in the Sophie and Toffee Dino themed elves box. And I'm actually using some of their um, chameleon flakes. Now I have used their chameleon powders before, but I wanted to try out the chameleon flakes and just sort of see how they work in the molds. Um, they are very, very flaky. As you can see, they go everywhere. So please do be aware of that if you do decide to try them out. They are super, super cool though. Um, I, was, I wasn't sure whether to just sort of mix them up in resin and pour them in, or if I should try to like brush them in the actual mold. Um, eventually I decided on that, but my goodness me, I tried so many different ways of doing it and it just didn't seem to fully cover it. So I thought this was gonna be a bit of a fail, but it actually turned out really, really nice. As you can see here, this particular one just did not want to stick to the silicone mold. I even tried doing it with a brush and in the end, I just ended up just like chucking on a different color and it still wouldn't stick. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to just leave it. <laughs> I'm using J Diction resin for this craft and I mixed it up with the um, sort of uh, coffee gray pigment that we got. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to just add in some glitter for absolutely no reason because glitter. Um, of course, discount code below. But check out how nicely that these turned out. I was so impressed. I was genuinely ready for this to be a complete and utter fail. And it actually wasn't. Even this one, this one that gave me so much grief, it actually came out quite nice. Um, the fact that you can actually see some of the grey coming through, it kind of, you know, gives it a sort of more, I don't know, sort of natural look. <laughs> <laughs> as natural as like purple dinosaurs could possibly be. Speaking of purple dinosaurs, this one really reminded me of Barney. So um, yeah, you'll be able to see with the way that I actually paint it, that um, there was definitely some Barney influence there. After I had painted all the dinosaurs, I then domed them with some more of the UV resin and then I just simply threaded through some jump rings and some ball chain. Well, I say simply, you actually do need quite large jump rings to do this. Mine just about fit. But how adorable are these? Oh my goodness. When Riley came home from school, he was so excited and I said to him, you know, to just pick one to wear on each shoe. And he was like, no, mom, I want to wear all three on one side of each shoe. So yeah, we're going with that. <laughs> Next, I decided to make the T-Rex necklace. I was just so intrigued um, to see how it would all kind of like come together. So I used the leftover gray resin and I put in that sort of like brown and silver pigment that we got inside of the dino box as well. And um, I then used the little silicone stick that they gave us to make a hole in one of the pieces. Problem is I did do it on the wrong side, but I do fix this later. <laughs> this is how you're supposed to lay them all out and then you connect each piece with uh, jump rings and I also used some acrylic paint to fill in the details. Now hooking them together with jump rings it is really really fiddly so please do be aware of that but once you get it it looks so so adorable. I really do love this necklace. I actually made it for my really good friend Lucy who is obsessed with dinosaurs and uh, yeah with any luck she's actually seen this video and watched me make it. If you enjoyed this video then please do share it out with a friend and let me know what your favourite craft is below. Take care my darlings and I'll see you all soon. Bye!